Welcome to Not A Roofer's Podcast, where we discuss roofing without all the jargon. I'm Brianna. And I'm Charity. And this is today's episode. Welcome back to Not A Roofer's Podcast. Today, our term that we are discussing is coverage. And Brianna, since I know that you love your term so much, (laughs) what's the definition? Okay, so coverage is a noun, and it is the number of layers of material between the roof surface and the deck. And the deck is the structural components of the building. That That is the definition. I will be honest, this one was actually very hard to find a definition, a like, legit definition, because if you just put coverage into like dictionary.com, um, coverage is used for so many different things. So it was it was a little bit harder. Yeah, and I, I honestly, <laughs> I found a definition for it, and then I found very few inf- like other information about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I did find is that there could be single coverage, there could be double double coverage there could be triple coverage and so on and that is about mm-hmm. it that is all i could find on coverage well, that that's what really it is it's just the it's just talking about the material and the number of layers yeah so i i mean pretty much basic level coverage is just how many layers of protection there is between the structural uh bones i guess <laughs> of a building and the top layer of the roof. So as an example, on say a house, you have, um, you have the structural deck as they call it. And then usually you have like insulation, whatever. And then there's a layer that gets put on and then you have your shingles. And for houses, you can have up to two layers of shingles. Actually, anywhere where shingles can be, you can have up to two layers of shingles. Building codes will allow for that. You actually can't have more. So on that, it would be a multi-coverage layer for the roof. It'd be multi-coverage. Whereas we have things like um, when we talked about the different roofing types, PVC is one, usually one ply, so it's one layer, one one coverage. So it's important to know that when it comes to roofing term or roofing in general, um, you know, it's probably good to know how many layers, how many... How much coverage does your roof have between the structural bones of your building and the top of the roof? Because when a leak happens, you know, how many things does it have to go through before it starts, you know, hindering your building? Well, we just, we wanted to talk about coverage a little bit just to explain what it was. So next time when we talk about built up roofing, which is a multi-layer system, it makes sense about what that exactly means. Thank you for joining us today, and we will see you next time. That brings us to the end of today's episode. If you've been loving what you're hearing, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified anytime we post a new episode. Episodes come out on Monday and Fridays. Please feel free to share this podcast with a friend. We'd love everybody to be able to join us and learn more about the roofing industry as we go along on this journey. If you don't already, Follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. I will put all of our information down in the show notes below. Feel free to contact us with any questions or any any roofing ideas that you would love for us to talk about. I hope you have a great day and we will see you next time.